So a cool thing about composting is we compost some of our kitchen scraps. Watch out, girls. So usually putting it in the compost, it'll take a couple months for this to finally break down before you can really put it back into the garden. Or you can put it on beast mode and give it to the worms. If you give it to the worms, in a couple of weeks, it looks like this. Look how fast they broke this down. Black and, gold. Yep, black gold. And it's ready to go into the garden, and it's full of nutrients, and the plants love it. So get yourself a worm bin, some worms, and break down your compost much faster. And the worms also populate, so they'll keep making their populations grow, and you can compost more and more foods, excuse me, soil, and get it right into the garden. And your plants will love it. it tastes better, more healthier, it resists disease better. So So is this ready for, or how long before this will be ready for the garden? This, this can go in the garden right now. So how long from this step to this step? I think they'll break this down in about two or three weeks. So there are worms in here now? No, worms are in here. They oh. finish this up. So once they oh. finish once they finish up in here, they crawl to the top and get into here from the bottom. Oh, I see. So once they don't smell any food or sense any food in that that um, uh, container, they'll, they'll crawl up through the holes and they'll start breaking this down. Okay, so this normally through. sits on top, so yeah. this is where the food goes instead mm -hmm. of our regular compost. Mm -hmm. And you can see they're already in here. They're already in here breaking stuff down. Let me see, see them in there? Oh, yeah. They're already working, going to work, breaking all this down. So in a couple weeks, we'll have some good soil. So it falls through. You don't have to lift this and put it in there. No, and that. no. What happens is this 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 tray ended up looking like this one that we just saw a minute ago, and mm -hmm. I'll just take one of the other ones and put it on top, and I'll just start adding food on top of that one. And it'll just keep crawling up, breaking it down, crawling up, breaking the next one down, crawling up, breaking the next one down. Okay. So. Okay, and then we go from that to get all of that. And the chickens are happy too. So, how do we keep the chickens out? <laughs> <laughs> we put uh, shock resistant edges. Hey, girls. Yep, we took we it away. We got some turrets that we... shoot corn at them. No. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? It's ants. Oh, this is nothing. Keeps just put it around water to keep the ants from getting into it. Oh, okay. Got it. So, duckweed right. for the fish. Duckweed for the fish. Okay, so a quick recap for those who just tuned in. Get yourself some worms and give the worms your chicken scraps. They'll do the rest. Okay. And when it turns all black, then it's ready. Give it into the garden. So you use this instead of the compost bin or are you still using your co the compost bin? I still use a compost bin, but I just if I had a choice, I'd do all worms. They just break it down so much faster. So everything that can go in the compost bin can go in here. Uh -huh. Okay. What you think about that, Craig? She's not happy because he took it away. <laughs> all right, good deal. If you have questions, share, ask, all of that good stuff. And let us know what's in your garden if you are planting right now. Thanks for watching.